Buongiorno, we are the Italians. Um, GBU Italy puts a lot of efforts on uh, small group Bible studies. I think it's fair to say that. We invest a lot of energy in training students in uh, running Bible studies, the inductive methods and stuff like that. So in the last few years, FOIA challenged us to, um, to see the importance of public proclamation and creating opportunities, so the events and mission weeks. So it was through FOIA and e exposure to other mission weeks that we started to develop mission weeks in Italy as well. Um, a few years ago, I was challenged by uh, reports like this, on, especially from Romania and um, Spain, about training programs for young evangelists. So we thought, me and Francesco thought, why don't we do something like that? And we tried to organize a conference every year, and it was like a four-year conference, a two days, three days conference where we, some people came together and we got some training, but there wasn't much after that. So we thought there was a need for something more structured, also looking at what our colleagues were doing in other countries. So um, then the pandemic came as we were thinking about something more structured, and the pandemic opened our eyes to the, the, the how do you say, the opportunities we had through the internet. So we thought we can actually offer training through the internet, coming together, because in Italy, it's a long country. It's beautiful and long as well. Um, so coming together, it's not very easy necessarily. So online, we thought we can actually meet together once a month and offer a training program and spread it throughout the, a number of months. So that's how we started the program that we launched this year. And Francesco is going to explain us how it worked a little bit. Yes, uh, very quickly. We started small, just six months program with one Saturday, one full Saturday morning each month. Uh, and we would start either with a book discussion of a book that the participants had to read beforehand, or with a sample talk for, from an experienced speaker. And then we had a webinar on more practical stuff on how to prepare a talk, how to use apologetics, how to use arts and media in your talk. And then we will have our small group exercise with talks and feedback. So at the end of the six months, every participant would have read uh, three books, which were Out of the Soul Shaker, The Reason for God, and Mere Christianity, that we have in Italian. Then would have listened to six webinars on, on how to prepare a talk, uh, listened to three good sample talk, and prepared one talk over which they would have received feedback. So we started with something quite small, manageable, doable, through Zoom, and and still, I think we gave a good, a solid foundation for someone who wanted to, to prepare a talk. And now we are thinking about doing that more, I mean, a bit longer and, and more, and more, more, and more. So we're thinking next year, how can we not abandon these people that came, these 15 people that came this year? Uh, so we're planning a second year, which will be more practical. So we would, we would give them more practical exercises to, to do in order to um, train also on the practical side, but also to welcome other new students, so new, uh, new people who can be trained. So they would attend as a first year, their second year, and then those who did two years will leave, and those who did the second year only would, would repeat, would, would do again the, the first year. Can you get it? Is it clear? So first year, some people, second year, more people, Third year, the first people leave and the, the second group stays. So we offer the same program as the first year. So it's an altogether two years program. So that's the direction we're going to. So somebody was saying, well, this is not enough. You need much more than this. But the answer I gave him was something is better than nothing. So this is not maybe perfect training, but it is something that brings people to think about public proclamation with giving them some skills. A few years ago, I closed with this. I was working in England as a waiter, and I was learning. I was, uh, I never done that job before, so I was learning. And um, I would see myself very much as a learner until they hired somebody else. And the manager told me, can you train her? I was like, what? And I became a trainer as I was a trainee, as I was learning myself. And I realized that I knew more than her. As soon as she starts, I knew much more than her. So we don't feel like we are the greatest evangelists in the world. Maybe you think it. No, we're not. Um, but all of a sudden, when we had younger people coming to us with no experience, I realized that we have much more experience. And we learn so much through 
going to conferences and trying on our skin um, doing this publicly. So we have something to teach, even though we're not the best on the market. So I want to encourage you, if you have experience, you have more, you have something to give to others who have less experience. And so it's great to train others. Thank you. Excuse me, Michael, I've got to share this. In this very moment, a student who joined our group online is getting baptized. Actually, this is his mother who joined the church through Zoom meetings. So praise God, this is a live baptism. <laughs>